Welcome to Top Crew Aviation. This is Captain P. K. Yadav. Hello, guys. Today we would discuss about uh, air prox. So, what is air prox? Proximity in air is known as air prox, guys. Any incident due to other aircraft taking place in air is known as air prox. I would say. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all upcoming videos. So, incident can happen on ground or in air, guys. So, whenever any incident is uh, happening on ground, all right. In that case, uh, what you have to do, you need to give a detailed report of incident within position to the ATC. Number one. And in case of any incident which is happening in air is known as aprox, guys. There are uh, two uh, terms and conditions in that case uh, we have to introduce and uh, we have to tell the ATC there is a, a certain format to inform ATC about aprox. Okay. So in case guys uh, traffic is close to you within one to five nautical miles we use uh, the phrase airprox risk of collision okay and uh, number two terms and conditions guys like uh, whenever aircraft is not complying i'm talking about uh, any other aircraft you monitored or sighted okay when other aircraft is not complying within the required separation minima and that could hamper safety all right uh, for us or, or for him too we always inform to the atc in that case we use the phrase airport safety not assured all right so now there are two conditions and two phrases uh, we have to tell to the atc guys all right so uh, I'm going to tell you which format we are going to use in terms of air prox. Uh, as similar, we have learned number one. First, uh, very first, we give whom are you calling? Who are you? On what frequency? Over here, you have to mention type of aircraft. Then air prox with the phrase as per applicable. All right. Like if it is uh, between one to five nautical miles. We would use aprox risk of collision and in case if it is more than 5 nautical mile and uh, less than 15, okay, then we would be using aprox uh, safety not assured. So like more than 5 nautical mile, always safety not assured and less than 5 nautical miles, always risk of collision. After that, we have to inform time of incident and detailed. Okay, I'll tell you the example how we are going to do that. Then position in terms of radial DME test and flight level. That's it. Nothing more in this approx, guys. And uh, we have to also mention the condition, like what kind of conditions uh, are there. All right. Uh, after type of aircraft. So I'm just uh, adding over here. It could be IMC. All right weather condition i would say and it could be vmc so in one go uh, whom are you calling who are you what frequency type of aircraft imc or vmc as for the weather air prox and uh, phrase whatever is applicable time of incident and details position in terms of radial dme test and flight label okay guys uh, always do remember in case of uh, cloud and heavy rain only we would be using imc otherwise always vmc let's go with the example like over prathabgarh okay you monitored an aircraft crossing your uh, flight path at five nautical miles on same level give detailed reports all right so in this case uh, we would uh, see whenever you see in your question paper give detailed report you have to check uh, whether incident is happening in ground or in air if it is on ground you would always uh, give detailed information about incident with time and if it is in air it would be air prox we have to follow the certain format which i have told you 
and uh, whatever condition is applicable. So in this case, we would call Ahmedabad control, Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Charlie, Boeing, VMC, because no heavy rain and cloud has mentioned in this question. All right. So again, Ahmedabad control, Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Charlie, Boeing, VMC, type of aircraft would be given for sure. I did not give you over here, but uh, you will get it in your question. Okay. So let's assume it is uh, Boeing. Once again, Ahmedabad control, Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Charlie, Boeing, VMC, approx risk of collision. Okay. Time of incident 1050. Monitored aircraft crossed our flight path at 5 nautical miles near Pratapgarh. Now we have to give the position in terms of radial, DME, flight level and pass. So it was an example. Okay. That could be anything radial. You have to check on charts. DME, you have to check it on charts. Flight level would be given in your question paper. Pass, uh, most of the time you have to, you know, assume. So it is 300 knots in case of Boeing or Airbus. All right. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all upcoming videos. So the next question, if you see in uh, chart number seven, over Alden and the Indian Air Force fighter cross your flight level climbing at five nautical miles, take action. So in this case, again, as uh, crossed your flight level, it means it is in air. So it would be approx Chenny Control, Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Charlie, Boeing, VMC, Airprox risk of collision, time of incident 1050, cited in Indian Air Force fighter crossover flight level climbing 5 nautical miles, position radial 338, Mike Mike Lima, DME 75, flight level 320, test 320 knots. That's it guys. This is how uh, you have to define about the air props. Little bit uh, detailed, uh, you know, about air props. Uh, then you have to follow the format. So that's it guys in air props. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Here you go. Your checklist. Like, subscribe and share. Thank you for watching.